Today on Ask BRS TV, what's the easiest way to mix Red Seas Reef Foundation A, B, and C to make the same concentration as their premix solutions? Hey reefers, Randy answering a question from our community over on hashtag AskBRSTV Facebook group, which comes to us from David Aliong, who is trying to figure out how much dry powder of the reef foundation A, B, and C to add to a gallon of water to make a standard solution for each alkalinity calcium and magnesium. Actually, David, if you wanted to make a full gallon of solution for the calcium and magnesium component, you would need multiple containers of each, so rather than that, it's much easier to match the amount of water you'll need to an entire kilogram container to match the concentration as the pre-mixed liquid Red Sea bottles and actually ends up saving you more money in the end. Okay, so first things first, unlike more traditional two-part solutions, which many times have mixing instructions for equal one-gallon solutions, the Red Sea Reef Foundation A, B, and C are formulated at different concentrations and dosed as needed, so they really don't need to be mixed up in equal proportions. The significant difference between the two is the calcium solution is a bit stronger and will last a lot longer. As a reminder, we're using these dry powders and mixing them into solutions that match the same concentration as if you bought it in a pre-mixed liquid form, which will save you money in the end. So for the Reef Foundation A calcium component, you'll want to mix up the entire one kilogram container with seven and a half cups of water, which ends up yielding you a little over a half a gallon after displacement from the powder. One important note to mention here, it's always best practice to wear protective gear when mixing any chemicals or solutions. And I'd also say that it's common with many calcium chloride additives for a chemical reaction to significantly warm the water solution. This is absolutely the case here. And if you try to mix all of the calcium powder in at once, the solution can get very hot. So I'd highly suggest mixing it slowly over time. Next up is the foundation C for supplementing magnesium, which I found that mixing the entire one kilogram container to 6.9 cups of RODI water will yield the same concentration as Red Sea's pre-mixed Foundation C, and after displacement will leave you with slightly more than a half a gallon of solution at the same concentration. Lastly is the Foundation B alkalinity component, which looks to be a different form of alkalinity than the pre-mixed bottle that actually yields right at 10 liters of solution at about the third the concentration, so I found it way easier to divide the kilogram tub into thirds. I measured this out to be right at 1.5 household measuring cups of dry powder added to 13.8 liquid cups of water, which ended up being just under a full gallon, meaning that I'll get three of these from a single one kilogram container of Foundation B. So all in all, with the Reef Foundation A, B, and C powder containers that you mix up yourself, you actually end up saving nearly double on the calcium and magnesium component versus buying them pre-mixed in one liter bottles at the same concentration, which saves you a little more than 20 bucks each. In the same breath, mixing up your own Foundation B alkalinity component with 10 liters of solution at a third the concentration, the final amount actually ends up with about three times the cost savings as the pre-mixed solution. Thanks for watching and thank you, David, for the great question. Many of these questions come from the hashtag AskBRSTV Facebook group where reefers can get their question answered from us and group members often in real time. So click the link in the lower left to see what reefers are saying about David's question or ask one of your own and we'll see you next time on AskBRSTV.